We are gonna start in Sukhasana, so just come on down, find an easy seat. If you'd like to prop yourself up here, go for it. You might move around a little bit before you really settle in. Just check in with your body. Some fidgets, some rolls, some circles. Eventually landing with a heavy pelvis, stacking your spine on top of that pelvis. Drop the shoulders, soften the face, close the eyes. And as you arrive, let's just do a little run through our senses. So starting with the eyes, our sight. Let your eyes get a little heavier in their sockets and with them being closed, turn your gaze inward. Start to notice sensations in your body, your breath as it moves in and out through the nose. Feeling that sensation at the tip of your nostrils. Can you relax your tongue inside your mouth? Soften your ears to any sounds around you, noticing the sounds, but not becoming pulled away or distracted by them. And bring a little awareness to your skin, how the air feels as it glides across any exposed areas. sensation of skin on skin or skin to mat if that is happening anywhere. And breathe here. Finding awe. I looked up the definition of awe and it was an overwhelming feeling of reverence, admiration, sometimes fear or surprise produced by that which is grand, sublime, extremely powerful, or the like. Feelings of awe can remind us how small we are in the full picture of things. Awe can emphasize how vast and impressive our world is and clarify our perception of our worries and concerns. Those things that are truly important and necessary sharpen focus when we're in awe. And trivial things sort of blur away into the distance. We're also reminded when experience, experiencing awe how connected we are to the greatness how easy it is to feel the power and embrace of something bigger than us if we just stop to notice it. It's in the details and the largeness which are all around us. With this in mind, I invite you to consider how we can incorporate more awe moments into our life. Some ideas to consider are nature. Get outside, look at the tiny things, look at the huge things, smell and touch the things. Music, find music that overwhelms you with that awe inspiration. Do something for someone else. There is awe in service. We connect to something bigger than ourselves. Slow down your pace. Pay more attention to what you're doing and how you're doing it. And finally, try new things. Push beyond your comfort zone. Today, maybe explore where in your practice you can entertain reverence and admiration. Find deep stories in the small details and power and energy in the big picture. Gently bow your forehead to your heart. 
Allow your eyes to open, lift the chin, and any way you'd like to make your way onto all fours. Beginning with a series of cow and cat. Spread your fingers wide, hands under your shoulders, knees under your hips, tuck and spread the toes. And I want you to move through these cows and cats on your own. You might close the eyes, start to connect body and breath together. Inhaling into that cow spine, arching through the lower back as you gaze up. Exhaling into your cat spine as you tuck the tail, tuck the head. And if any other movements are calling you, go ahead and add those. Maybe some circles, some sways. Exploring your body. The details, the big picture, how it all comes together. Continue with a few more rounds. We're here for five, four, three, two, one. Find a flat back, a neutral spine. Go ahead and tuck the toes. Walk your knees back just a little bit and then press back into child's pose with your toes tucked under. I want you to keep your gaze forward. So lift your chin slightly, gaze between the hands. That's where we're headed. As you inhale with the toes tucked, pull forward into a modified up dog. Knees can stay soft on the floor or if you're ready, you can stretch the legs and lift the knees off the floor. Stay for a big breath in. Exhale, downward dog. Roll through the spine, lift the hips up and back. First down dog of class, maybe take a few pedals, some sways, some breaths. We're gonna move through that little wave, up dog, child's pose, up dog, down dog, a few more times. So keeping the toes tucked, inhale, roll forward into that modified up dog. Again, knees can stay lifted with long legs or knees can soften to the floor. Exhale, now knees to the floor for sure as you press back into that child's pose with top toes, gaze forward. Inhale, pull forward, modified up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Let's do that one more time. Inhale, pull forward, modified up dog. Exhale, soften back, child's pose, toes stay top, gaze is forward. Inhale, modified up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Stay here. On an inhale, rise to your toes. On an exhale, pivot your heels to the right and then send them back down to the floor. Push into your hands, keep your hips lifted high. Take a big breath into that left side body. Big breath out. Inhale, back through center, rise high on the toes. Exhale, pivot the heels to the left, reach the feet to the floor, press into the hands, lift the hips high. Big breath into that right side body. Big breath out. Inhale, rise to toes. Exhale, melt your heels to the floor. Make sure those feet are hip width apart. I want you to walk your hands back to your feet. Finding a forward fold at the back of your mat, soften the knees. Shake out the head, shake out the shoulders. Grab hold of opposite elbows, give a little tug on the elbows. Get longer through your side waist. Press down into the feet to lift the sit bones a little higher, maybe finding a little more length through the backs of the legs. Take a big breath in, big breath out. Keeping these arms, Bend your knees like chair pose. Reach your hips back and your elbows forward. So you're finding a flat back over the legs. Continue to pull your hips back as you pull your elbows forward. Finding a little length through the spine. Engaging through the legs. Waking up the ankles, the knees, the hips. Take one more big breath in. On an exhale, fold over your legs. Let the arms release. Soften the knees and roll up slowly. Once you arrive, standing, no rush. Take a couple shoulder rolls back. Step your feet together at the back of your mat. 
Inhale, sweep your arms overhead. Catch left wrist with right hand. Exhale, side bend right. Anchor through your left foot. Send your hips to the left. Pull that left arm up and over and then see if you can draw your belly and front ribs in a little bit. Keep that tailbone lengthening to the floor. Take a big breath in. Big breath out. Inhale back through center. Switch your grip. Exhale, side bend left. Reaching up and over. Shoulders are soft. Anchor through your right foot, press your hips to the right. As you pull that right arm longer, can you draw your belly and front ribs in a little more? Lengthen your tailbone down. Take a big breath in. Big breath out. Inhale back through center. Exhale, hands behind you, interlace your fingers. Inhale, chest expansion, knuckles down, heart high. Exhale, forward fold with chest expansion. Feel free to soften your knees as much as you need. Squeeze the shoulder blades together, get wider through the chest. Try and squeeze the hands together as you work your knuckles up towards the ceiling and then further overhead. Take a big breath in. As you exhale, release your arms. Soften the knees, roll all the way up to stand one more time. As you rise, bring your hands to your hips. We'll take a big step forward on our right foot, working to balance a little bit. Just three big hip circles, left knee pulls forward, side and down. Three times, finding that external rotation. After that third one, keep that external rotation. You can use your left hand and work your way into tree pose. Left foot can come to your inner right thigh or calf. Hands to heart center, soften or close your eyes. Bringing your awareness both inward towards the details and then also outward, especially with your breath, connecting with that which is bigger with you, than you. Drawing in on your inhales and giving back with your exhale. One more breath in and out. Bring your hands to your hips again. Take a big step forward on that left foot and then three hip circles on the right. That right knee moves forward and then externally rotates three times. After that third one, keep that right knee rotated and then use your right hand to work yourself into tree pose. Good, right foot to thigh or calf, hands to heart center, tailbone lengthens down, back ribs lift up, soft eyes. And again, just finding that connection within, without, to the small, to the big. Take one more breath in and full breath out. Gently release feet together at the top of your mat. Big toes come to touch. Keep those hands at your heart. Tadasana, soft eyes. Maybe with your thumbs against your heart, you give your heart a little lift. Honoring that heart space, bow your forehead to your hands. Surya Namaskara A. Inhale, sweep your arms around and up, lift the heart, press the palms. Big exhale to fold forward and drop the head. Soften your left knee. Inhale, right arm reaches to the sky, forward fold, twist. Exhale, release. Soften your right knee. Inhale, left arm reaches high, forward fold, twist. Exhale, release. Inhale, half lift, long spine. Exhale, step or jump. Chaturanga. Inhale, up dog, press the floor away with your hands and feet. Exhale, downward dog for three breaths. Inhale. Exhale, one. Inhale. Exhale, two. One more breath in. And out. Inhale, rise to toes, gaze forward. Exhale, bend your knees, step or jump. 
feet to hands. Inhale, long spine. Exhale, heavy head as you full. Inhale, sweep your arms around and up. Lift the heart, press the palms. Big exhale to fold forward. Uttanasana. Soften the left knee, inhale, right arm up. Forward fold, twist. Exhale, release. Soften the right knee, inhale, left arm up, twist. Exhale, release. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, step or jump. Chaturanga. Inhale, up dog, big stretch. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale. Exhale, one. Inhale. Exhale, two. One more breath in and out. Inhale, rise to toes, gaze forward. Exhale, bend the knees, step or jump, feet to hands. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep the arms around and up, seal the palms last time. Big exhale to fold, Uttanasana. Soften the left knee, inhale, right arm high, twist. Exhale, release. Soften the right knee, inhale, left arm high. Exhale, release. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, step or jump, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward dog. Big breath in. Big breath out. Inhale, exhale, two, one more breath in and out. Inhale, rise to toes, gaze forward. Exhale, bend the knees, step or jump, feet to hands. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep your arms around and up, seal the palms. This time, exhale, hands to heart center. Take a breath. Zip up all the way through the inseams of your legs from your inner ankles, inner knees, inner thighs. Pull the belly in and start to rise onto the toes. See if you can keep the heels lifted, steady gaze. Start to bend the knees and come all the way down into a squat. With the feet together, knees lifted, crow pose, kakasana. Lift those knees way up into your upper armpits, upper arms, and then shift your weight forward. Gazing forward, if you look down, your energy's going down. So you can gaze forward and up, take your weight towards your fingers and maybe float the feet. Breathe for three, two, one. Chaturanga, step or jump. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, your right leg to the sky. Exhale, right knee, right elbow, shift forward. Inhale, right leg high. Exhale, right knee, left elbow, cross the body. Inhale, right leg high. Exhale, knee to nose, and step your right foot between your hands. Drop your back knee to the floor. Inhale, sweep the arms around and up. Catch left wrist with right hand. Take another breath in to lengthen. Use your exhale to lift up and over to the right. Can you squeeze your inner thighs together as you stretch that left side body? Stay for a breath in. Stay for a breath out. Nice, hands lower back to the floor. Lift your back knee, low lunge. We're gonna come into a low lunge twist with an extended arm today. I want you to circle your right arm back and up and then keep moving that arm until it stretches all the way overhead. Right bicep towards right ear, right fingers reaching to the front of your space and then spiral belly button, heart and gaze further around up towards the sky. Stay for a breath in. Exhale, low lunge, hands to the floor. Seal your left heel down. Inhale, cartwheel up, warrior two. 
Use your exhale to sink a little deeper into that front leg. Right palm to the ceiling, inhale, reverse triangle. Legs stretch long, find length across your right hip. Keep that length, exhale, full triangle. Hip shift back, right hand to right shin, or a block, or the floor. Draw your outer right hip back. Lengthen tailbone towards back heel, and you, as you press more into that back foot, get longer through your spine. Rotate, right ribs, heart, and gaze towards the sky. Stay for a breath in, stay for a breath out. Inhale back into reverse triangle, legs stay long, reach up and back. Exhale, low lunge to the back of your mat. Pivot around, bend that left knee, square off to face the back of your space. On an inhale, lengthen your heart forward. Exhale, modified pyramid, stretch both legs long. Soften over that left thigh, think belly to thigh, forehead to shin. Take a big breath in. Fold even deeper as you exhale. Hands to the floor, listen closely. Inhale, three-legged dog, shoot your left leg up and back. Left leg up and back. Keep reaching high through that left leg. Walk your hands back towards your right foot, standing splits. Option to catch that right ankle with one or both hands. Spin your left hip down slightly, working to square the hips a little more. Take a big breath in and a big breath out. Walk your hands all the way back out into plank and step your left foot between your hands, low lunge. Seal your right heel down. See if you can keep your left hand on the outside of your left foot and press your left knee into your left arm. Keep that contact. Start to open up into extended side angle. Right arm will reach towards the back of your space. You'll start to twist your torso to the right. Press down and out through your feet. Lift underneath the inner thigh of that right leg, that back leg. Take a big breath in, big breath out. Inhale, reverse triangle, left leg lengthens, reach all the way up and back. Exhale, low lunge facing the top of your mat. Big transition. Inhale, one-legged mountain, left knee lifts, arms reach overhead, finding your balance. Exhale, standing figure four. Sit low, hands to heart. Pull your hip creases back, heart forward. Stay for a breath in. Stay for a breath out. Keep your hands at your heart. Inhale, back into one-legged mountain. Exhale, Tadasana, feet together. Rising high on the toes, zip up through the midline. And then again, bend those knees and lower down. Starting with our crow pose, Kakasana knees come way up into those arms. Gaze forward, try not to gaze down. Breathe for three, two, one. Step or jump, Chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale your left leg to the sky. Exhale, left knee, left elbow, shift forward. Inhale, left leg high. Exhale, left knee, right elbow, cross the body. Inhale, left leg high. Exhale, step uh, knee to nose first, and then step that left foot between your hands. Drop your back knee. Inhale, arms around and up. Catch that right wrist with your left hand. Take another breath in, get taller. Exhale, side bend left. Soften through the shoulders. See if you can draw your inner thighs in towards each other as you reach up and over. Big breath in. Stay for that exhale. Release your hands to the floor. Finding low lunge, lift the back knee. Extended low lunge twist, circle that left arm back and up and then all the way to the front of the room. Spin your torso round and up, stretch long through that back leg. One more breath in, 
Exhale, left hand to the floor. Seal your right heel down. Inhale, cartwheel up, warrior two. Use that exhale to sink deeper into that front leg. Left palm to the ceiling, inhale, reverse triangle, stretch across that left hip. Exhale, triangle, try and keep that long left side as you reach up and out. Good, front knee can soften a little. Try and lift the muscle above your kneecap, that left quadricep, so you're not dumping into the joint. Spin your left ribs, heart and gaze towards the sky. Big breath in. Big breath out. Inhale back into reverse triangle. Exhale, low lunge to the back of your mat. Right knee bend, square off to face back. Pull your heart forward as you breathe in. Use that exhale, modified pyramid, stretch both legs and fold. Can you steer your right hip back a little bit? Soften belly to thigh, forehead to shin. One more breath in. Fold deeper as you exhale. Plant your hands, inhale, three-legged dog. That right leg shoots up and back. Right leg shoots up and back. Keep that right leg lifting high. Start to walk your hands back towards your left foot. Standing splits. Option to catch that left ankle with one or both hands. Can you spin that right hip down slightly? Square through the hips a little more. Take a full inhale. Full exhale. Walk those hands back out to plank and step that right foot between your hands. Low lunge. Seal your left heel down. Try and keep your right arm outside your right leg and contact between that right knee and right arm. As you push that right knee into your arm, start to open to the left extended side angle. Left arm reaches all the way overhead, left bicep by ear. Lift underneath your inner left thigh as you press down and out through your feet. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, reverse triangle. Right leg stretches, reach up and back. Exhale, low lunge facing the top of your mat. Big transition. Inhale, one-legged mountain, right knee lifts. Arms reach overhead, work that balance. Exhale, standing figure four. Hips pull back, heart reaches forward. One big inhale. Full exhale. Keep your hands at your heart center. Inhale, one-legged mountain. Exhale, feet together. Tadasana. Let's smooth that out one more time, right and left. Zip up through the midline, rise to toes. Bend the knees with control. Right into your crow pose. Breathe for three, two, one. Chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, your right leg high. Exhale, right knee, right elbow. Inhale, right leg high. Exhale, right knee, left elbow. Inhale, right leg high. Exhale, knee to nose. Step your right foot between your hands, lower your back knee. Inhale, the arms around and up. Catch left wrist with right hand. Exhale, side bend right. Take a full breath in. Exhale, low lunge. Hands to the floor. Lift your back knee. Inhale, circle that right arm back and around all the way into that extended low lunge twist. Big reach as you breathe in. Exhale, back to low lunge. Seal your left foot down, inhale, cartwheel up, warrior two. Use your exhale to bend your front knee deeper. Right palm to the ceiling, inhale, reverse triangle. Exhale, triangle. Let it flow, inhale, back into reverse. Exhale, low lunge to the back of your mat. Inhale, heart lengthens forward. Exhale, modified pyramid. Stay for a breath in, fold deeper as you exhale. Press into your hands, inhale, three-legged dog, left leg shoots up and back. Start to walk your hands towards that right foot, standing splits. Big inhale, 
Big exhale, nice. Crawl back out into plank. Step that left foot between your hands, low lunge. Seal your back heel down. Keep that left arm outside your left leg. Reach your right arm to the back of your space. Twist to the right, extended side angle. Press into your feet. Inhale, reverse triangle. Exhale, low lunge at the top of your mat. Pivot around, square off. Inhale, one-legged mountain, left knee lifts. Arms reach overhead. Exhale, standing figure four. Keep your hands at heart center. Inhale, one-legged mountain. Exhale, feet together. Last time, zip up through the midline, rise to toes. Start to bend the knees, squat low. Right into crow pose, elbows. Soft knees to your upper arms, shift forward for three, two, one, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, left leg to the sky. Exhale, left knee, left elbow. Inhale, left leg high. Exhale, left knee, right elbow. Inhale, left leg high. Exhale, knee to nose. Step your left foot between your hands, drop your back knee. Inhale, arms reach around, catch right wrist with left hand. Exhale, side bend left. Take a breath in. Exhale, low lunge, hands to the floor, lift the back knee. Start to circle that left arm back and around, find that extended low lunge twist. Big breath in. Exhale, back to low lunge. Seal your right heel down. Inhale, cartwheel up, warrior two. Use that exhale to bend your front knee deeper. Left palm to the ceiling. Inhale, reverse triangle. Exhale, triangle. Keep it flowing. Inhale, back into reverse triangle. Exhale, low lunge to the back of your mat. Inhale, heart reaches forward. Exhale, modified pyramid. Stay in that fold, take a big breath in. Big breath out. Press into the hands, inhale, three-legged dog, right leg up and back. Start to walk your hands towards that left foot, standing splits. Inhale, exhale. Crawl all the way back to plank. Step your right foot between your hands, low lunge. Seal that left heel flat. Keep your right arm outside your right leg, extended side angles. Sweep that left arm overhead. Spiral your torso to the left. Inhale, reverse triangle. Right leg stretches, reach up and back. Exhale, low lunge, facing the front of your mat. Big transition, inhale, one-legged mountain. Right knee lift. Arms overhead, exhale, standing figure four. Keep your hands at heart center. Inhale, one-legged mountain. Exhale, Tadasana, feet together. Take a breath. Option to close the eyes. Check in, observe. Coming back to that intention of finding moments of awe. Allow your eyes to crack open. Bring your hands to your hips. Heel toe your feet, hip width apart. Roll the shoulders back, draw the elbows in. Lift your heart as you breathe in. Lead with your heart, exhale to fold over your legs. Reach down and catch your big toes in yogic toe lock. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Use your fingers and toes against each other to help pull yourself deeper into that fold. Roll your shoulders up your back. Let your elbows bend out to the sides. Three breaths. Inhale. Exhale. One. Inhale. Exhale. Two. One more breath. In. And out. Release the arms. Heel toe your feet all the way to touch. I want you to drop your 
tush to your heels, coming down into a squat like we were in earlier before Kakasana Crow Pose. And now we're gonna play around with Side Crow. Take that left arm to the outside of your right leg. This might be where you stay, just working on that twist. Maybe you're able to bring your hands to the floor. And then as you bend that right elbow, you're gonna bring your right hip above that right elbow. Find a little platform for that hip, shift forward, maybe look to the top of your space. Breathe for three, two, one. Come back to center, take a breath. We'll do the same thing other side. Just playing around, right arm to the outside of left leg. You might just stay in that twist. Maybe the hands can find the floor. Think chaturanga arms. And as that left elbow especially bends, make a shelf for that left hip. You have to shift forward, place that left hip above that left elbow. Maybe gaze to the front of your space. Breathe for three, two, one. Come back to center. Extend through the legs, forward fold, drop the head. Inhale, find a half lift, reset your spine. Exhale, step or jump, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. On an inhale, lift your right leg to the sky. Exhale, scorpion dog. Open your hip, bend your knee. Press more into that right hand, poke that right knee up. Take one more breath in. Exhale, right knee all the way across to the left elbow, and then shoot that leg through for fallen triangle. Send your hips high as you push the floor away. Open the heart. Take a full breath in. As you exhale, just lower your hips to the floor. So you're sort of in a mild straddle. We're gonna circle around to the left. Left hand comes behind you. Fallen triangle on the left. Press your hips to the sky. Open the heart, take a big breath in. Exhale, land your hips back down to the floor. This time face between your legs and just take a wide straddle. You can open your legs out wider if you'd like. Walk the hands forward, folding and breathing. Make your way up to sit. I want you to fold that right leg in, but instead of bringing that right foot towards your inner left thigh, make this a little bit wider. So pull that right knee out to the right a little more. Left hand comes to left leg, turn your left palm to the ceiling. Inhale, reach your right arm up. And on an exhale, side bend left. Maybe that left forearm drops inside your left leg. Try and keep your right sit bone grounded. Open your chest to the ceiling. Breathe into your right side body. Take a big breath in. And a big breath out. Inhale, come back up to sit. Exhale, right hand behind you. And then sweep that left arm around and up. Press your hips to the sky. Big breath in here. Listen closely. Exhale, bring your left hand to the floor, top of mat, sort of pivoting around to face front, and then inhale, right leg to the sky again, three-legged dog. Gaze between your hands. Exhale, pigeon on the right. Slide that right chin forward. Walk your left knee and left toes back. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Slowing down the breath.
to walk your hands back in. Tuck the back toes, step back, downward dog. Take what you need, maybe some petals, a big exhale, a flutter of the lips. And when you're ready, inhale your left leg to the sky. Exhale, scorpion dog, open your hip, bend that knee. Pushing into that left hand, poke that left knee high, take a big breath in. Exhale, left knee, right elbow across the body, shoot that leg through for fall and triangle. Press the floor away with your bottom hand, lift your hips high. Inhale. Exhale, just lower your hips to the floor. We're gonna take that on the other side, right hand comes behind you. Sweep that left arm around and up, fall and triangle. Hips press high. Take a big breath in. Exhale, lower your hips back to the floor. Face between your legs coming into that wide straddle. You might open your legs a little wider and fold forward. Walk your hands back in. I want you to bend that left knee in, but keep that left knee wide. So like a wide Janusher Sasana. Bring your right hand towards your right leg, palm to the ceiling. Inhale, reach your left arm up. Exhale, side bend right. Maybe that right forearm bends inside your right leg. Keep your left tush grounded. Soften the shoulders. Try and spin your torso towards the ceiling. Full inhale, full exhale. Inhale, come back up to sit. Exhale, your left hand behind you. Sweep that right arm around towards the front of your space. Press your hips to the sky. Inhale, open the heart. Now as you exhale, right hand comes towards the top of your mat. Working to square forward, inhale, three-legged dog. Shoot that left leg up and back. Exhale, pigeon on the left. Left shin slides forward. Right knee and right toes move back. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale to fold. Big breaths. Start to walk your hands back in. Tuck the back toes, downward dog. Take whatever feels good. Last down dog of class. Big breath in through the nose. Open mouth, exhale. <sighs> Gently lower your knees to the floor. Keep the toes tucked under. Walk your hands towards your knees, then come to stand on your knees. Hands find your lower back. Roll your shoulders back, draw the elbows in, Ustrasana. Press your hips forward, start to lift the heart. Maybe this is you. Maybe your hands reach for your heels. If you feel comfortable, you can always untuck the toes. Keep the hips pressing forward, heart lifting. Three breaths. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, exhale, 
One more breath in. Exhale, hands to your back, slowly rise. Untuck the toes, sit on the heels, palms down if you need to ground, palms up if you need to receive, and close the eyes. Observing, checking in. Allow the eyes to open and we'll take that one more time and come to stand on the knees, tuck the toes, hands to the lower back, roll the shoulders back, elbows in, press the hips forward, lift the heart, any variation. We'll stay for three more breaths. Inhale, exhale one, inhale, exhale two. One more breath in. As you exhale, hands to your lower back, slowly rise. Untuck the toes, sit on the heels. Palms down or up, yogi's choice. Close the eyes and breathe. Maybe you do a little run through your senses again. The eyes, the nose, the ears, the tongue the skin. Allow your eyes to open, sit off to one side, swing your legs around to the front of the room, and now we'll come into Janyashtasana. Left leg long, right foot into that inner left thigh. Sit up tall, face your left leg as you breathe in, and on an exhale, fold. Walk your sit bones back. Keep that inner right knee widening. Make your way up to sit. You can use that right hand to pick your right knee up and then cross right foot over left leg. Option to keep that left leg long if it's more comfortable, otherwise fold that leg in. Half seated spinal twist. Right fingers behind you, inhale left arm high. Exhale, twist to the right. Lengthen through the spine as you breathe in. Big exhale to twist as you breathe out. Gently release around to the left for a little counter twist. And facing front. Keep it simple. We'll just swap out the legs. That right leg will extend. Left foot will come to your inner right thigh. Sit up tall. Face your right leg. Big inhale. Exhale. Fold. Walk the sit bones back. Widen through the inner left knee. Start to make your way back up to sit. You can use that left hand to pick your left knee up, cross that left foot over your right leg. Option again to keep that right leg long or fold it in. Left fingers behind you, inhale, right arm high. Exhale, twist to the left. Big breaths in to lengthen. Big exhales to twist. And 
gently release around to the right. For a little counter twist, take what feels good. We'll come back to center, extend both legs long out in front of you. Flex the feet, sit up tall, take a breath in. Exhale and fold. Walk your sit bones back, reach that heart forward, and then re-soften, release. Start to make your way up to sit. Scooch forward slightly as you bend those knees and then roll all the way onto your back and hug your knees into your chest. Gentle rock side to side, let your head sway, your whole body just massaging against the floor, releasing through the hips and the lower back, the neck, the head. Come back to center, bring both hands to your right leg, squeeze that leg in, extend your left leg long. Inhale, exhale, twist. Guide your knee to the left, gaze to the right. Getting heavier in that right shoulder blade, softer and longer through the spine. Inhale back through center. Swap out the legs, hug your left knee in, stretch your right leg long. Inhale, exhale, twist to the right. Gaze towards the left. Get heavier in that left shoulder blade. Inhale back through center. Draw both knees into your chest, this time for a happy baby. Flex the feet to the ceiling. Catch the outer edges and pull on the feet. Work the knees towards the floor, the lower back towards the floor. Maybe you rock a little side to side. Maybe you stretch one or both legs. And wherever you are in your happy baby, let's take a lion's breath. We'll inhale through the nose and then we'll open our eyes and mouth real big and stick out our tongue. Take a big breath in. Lion's breath. Keep a hold of the feet. Bring the soles of the feet together. Lift your head towards your feet. Pull your feet towards your head. Knees are open wide. Take a big breath in here, and then exhale, release everything onto the floor, and set yourself up for Shavasana. If you'd like to keep your legs in that butterfly shape for Supta Baddha Konasana, you can. If you want to extend your legs out for that full Shavasana, go for it. Take what feels nice in your body, wherever you can find the most release. Close the eyes and let go.
Slowly start to deepen the breath. Wiggle the fingers, the wrists, the head. If the legs are bent, stretch them long. Wiggle the toes, the ankles. Take a big stretch, arms reach overhead. Get longer from toes to fingertips. And as you draw your knees towards your chest, roll to your right. Slowly making your transition up to sit. Find a light, tall spine. Close the eyes. Bring your hands to your heart. In awe, we understand that we are part of many things that are much larger than the self. Dasher Keltner. The divine light in me bows to the divine light in you. Namaste.